Hi, okay, so I'm just here cooking up uh, my meal and I just thought I would talk about a few things because I'm worried about a few things and I wanted to share them. So what I'm cooking up here is some um, ribeye steak, sea scallops, clams, a kidney, and that's what I have in here, cooking in tallow. So this is going to be my lunch. It's 12 o'clock and this is pretty much going to be my biggest meal of the day, but I'm going to go ahead and eat that. So why am I doing the carnivore diet? Um, because I'm desperate. <laughs> uh, I've had a, a major setback with a lot of neurological symptoms and with a lot of nerve uh, pain, buzzing, burning, vibrating, a lot of brain um, symptoms back that had had been resolved and now it's back so um, it's very alarming to me and I have been from a person who's been raw vegan uh, paleo autoimmune gaps um, <laughs> I mean just whole foods keto everything um, and I usually give it a go I've decided okay I have got to go carnivore because I don't know what's stressing my symptoms out and I need the basic elimination but it, it's got to be the most hardiest food possible and this is the building blocks this is where we get all our amino acids to build brain cells nerve cells tissue cells so what I'm really trying to do here is I'm trying to feed I am trying to feed um, my nerves I'm trying to feed my cells, my cellulars. I'm trying to feed, you know, all the myelin sheath and I'm trying to feed my brain. Um, you cannot do that on vegetables. So I'm trying to make sure that every meal I have is super nutrient dense, is got all kinds of amino acids that your brain uses to build. Okay, so I, I definitely know that I need all of that. I'm getting so much in here. Am I worried? Am I worried that this restrictive diet is not going to be good for me long term? Yes. Yes, I am worried about that. Um, I don't want to not supply my body with vitamin C, um, with vitamin D. I don't want to not, you know, supply it with all kinds of different minerals that I'm lacking, a folate. Um, oh, there's so many things. But vitamin E, um, I'm really worried about, uh, I can't even remember what else I'm worried about, but I'm worried about a lot of things. So my point here is that I, every time I eat, I'm trying to eat the most nutrient dense foods that my body can build with, but I don't want to be silly and exclude phytonutrients, minerals, vitamins that I'm not getting. Um, I'm not taking supplements because they have additives, they have other um, chemicals that are bound to it when they're made and they can stress my system out. Um, there's all kinds of things in, in the supplements, even really well vetted ones that if you're sensitive and you're only going down to one food so that you can cut everything out, else out, you wanna cut all those plant, you know, lectins and phytates and, and uh, oxalates and salicylates and uh, the list goes on and on, right? It's all for all of it. Because if you're sensitive to it and your body's having a hard time detoxing, uh, you don't want to be throwing food sensitivities into the mix because it just makes symptoms worse. So, what am I trying to say here? I'm coming up with a plan because I want to be able to do the carnivore diet, not because I want to do the carnivore diet and be like, oh, look at me, I can stick to a carnivore diet. Of course, I can stick to any diet. I've been doing this so long. I would stick to any diet, including eat a hunk of dog shit every day for the rest of my life if all my symptoms would go away. And when you're desperate, I think most people would do that. So sticking to a carnivore diet isn't hard. I mean, it's meat, seafood, um, it's delicious food, it's building food, it's amazing food. Uh, if I had to eat this for the rest of my life, and that's what it took uh, in the case of the Petersons to turn off all my autoimmune symptoms, then I would do it. But so far it hasn't, it hasn't worked. And long term, I am worried about missing nutrients that my body needs to complete cycles. So, you know, your body needs um, vitamin C to complete certain cycles. And it, it needs these things. So, I am devising a plan that I can eat carnivore at every meal. Here's my meal I'm just about to eat. So that I can eat carnivore at every single meal and give myself the building blocks that I need. So that would be like a breakfast and a dinner. 
And then I can also find a way to give it the minerals without supplementing and without causing food reactions um, to get the rest of my minerals because a lot of people will say, well, there's enough nutrients in meat. Meat is a complete food um, and you're gonna get everything and your requirements, um, you know, the RDAs are off and your requirements for vitamin C go down when you're only eating meat and there's all these different theories. But am I willing to risk my health on it when it's already so, so poor and I already have all these symptoms and my main goal is to stop symptoms? No, I'm not really willing to risk um, to risk it all on that that being true uh, so yeah I'm just about to eat this but yeah so I'm not willing to risk it all on that being true because maybe maybe that's right maybe they're right maybe you don't uh, need all these other things that we think we're missing uh, a lot of people are doing it the Peterson seem to be doing okay Amber Amber O'Hearn there's a lot of like longtime vegans that or not vegans <laughs> carnivores that are doing well but there also are some long term um, vegans that are doing well and do I think that that's a, an optimal diet? Absolutely not. And they're missing out on a lot of vitamins. So I don't want to take um, the opposite point of view here and be silly in the sense that, okay, um, maybe if I was totally well and everything was fine, it wouldn't be such a big deal, right? It wouldn't be such a big deal to me to... Um, I, I could I could wing it for a while. I could I could find out. I could do this experiment for a lot longer. So, the reason I'm continuing the experiment is because I really feel it's important to give myself fat, building blocks, protein, all the amino acids, everything that my brain cells and my nerve cells and um, my myelin sheath and everything that I need to function. I need to get it in nutrient dense animal products but I also don't want to, at the exclusion, be silly and miss really important vitamins. So I'm trying to come up with a plan, which I'll unveil soon because I don't want to carry on like this since it's not taking all my symptoms away. I want to be sure that I'm eating for optimal health. Um, so anyways, I plan to continue the carnivore diet, but I am trying to find a way without supplements that could set me off and have other additives in it and without going too crazy with food, that I could supplement this diet to get certain minerals and certain um, vitamins that I feel necessary to have in my body at this time when my body needs everything that I can get, right? But I don't want to throw the gamut at it, and I don't just want to throw in vegetables because I know that they can be tricky. I know that there can be a lot of problems with them and food reactions and... and um, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm just looking to get the extra added support that my body needs for the minimum amount of variation at this point so that my body doesn't have, and my immune system doesn't have too much to deal with. Um, so hope this helps. I'm going to go enjoy this before it gets cold, and I will unveil that later.